Hope you're doing well guys, welcome to your 8th Python tutorial. Now in this tutorial we're going to be learning about how to get input from the user. Now guys, user input is really really important, not just in programming but also across the whole computing world. You know, user input could be something like, for instance, another example of playing a video game is if you're playing on a video game console and you press something like the A button, that's your input. And the output would be something like, assuming you're playing a sports game, would be something like, oh, will you kick the ball? So, you know, input is an extremely important concept in programming. And without input, the world would actually be an extremely different place. Okay, so, um, of course, we're beginners to programming, so we're just going to be getting text-based input. So basically, the way you call input is basically just doing the input function, which is input, and it takes brackets. I'm just going to have empty brackets for now. Alright, so if we do that, we just hit the enter key. Because Python hasn't got the free little arrows there, it means it's prompting us. So we could type in, this is my input. And there you go, it returns, this is my input. But this, this is not worth anything, because of the fact that we haven't set a variable into input. So what we have to do is do something like, my input set it equal to input now let's see what happens this is my input see it doesn't um return anything now we can print my input this is my input all right guys um so that's all well and good something to let you know is the fact that when you call the input function it gets it as a string so for instance if we say my number so I just capitalize there, equals input. I want to call my number 5. And then I want to go ahead and say, all right, my number equals my number plus. Oh, sorry about that. Plus 5. You see, we get a type error because of the fact that we're trying to work between integers and strings. Which this doesn't make sense to Python. That's because of the fact that my number is a string. You see, guys, remember how um we used the int and float functions before? Now we're actually going to be utilizing that in the program. How about we now set my number equal to integer input? So basically, we're now um, having two functions at once. Integer input. So basically, what this goes ahead and does is it says, all right, firstly, I want you to be an integer. And it has the brackets. Next, I want you to just be regular input. So we hit enter. 45. Now we can go ahead and say my number equals. You know, actually, guys, how about we use the shortcut we used before? Plus equals 12. Now we should get, if we go ahead and print it, we should get 57. There you go. We get 57. So there is some use for the int function. The next thing I want to go ahead and show you guys is how you could have a prompt. So, for instance, instead of just having something blank here, you might want it to say something like, enter your number. So, let's set my number into input once more. Well, sorry, integer input once more. And now, inside here, we could have a prompt. That needs to be enclosed inside quotes. My prompt will be, enter a number. We hit enter, enter a number. 34, print my number plus 1, we should get 35. There you go. And another tip for you, as you can see here, it just has the text straight on top, it just has the number straight on top of the prompt. How we can avoid this problem is by doing this, exactly how we did here, but what we can go ahead and do is have a colon followed by a space. Now let's execute this. You see how it makes it a lot more user friendly. So now we could just do 67. Alright guys, um, and a way you could use this program could be something like a calculator or a doubling program, for instance, my number, and now we could go ahead and say my number equals my number times 2, and now we could print my number, so there you go, that is, that is the fundamentals of a doubling program, having a number which is an, which is an integer input or float input and then doubling my number. So guys, that's um, a really great task to sort of help you because the only real way you can get better, and this is what I've found while learning through programming, the only real way to get better is to create programs and write projects. Alright guys, that's it for today and I'll see you next time.